prophet of the day, the Stoics and the Epicureans. And also there was a little inscription to the unknown God. And, and, and he was admitting that people were searching for God. People were searching for God. But I would say that proves my point in this, that if every culture in every history, there's always been a desire to seek God, surely that shows you there is a God. That's number one. So the atheists who said there is no God, why is it in every culture, in every age, people are seeking after God? Maybe in different ways, as you eloquently put. You put yeah, a great argument. Maybe atheists have got I have no blue okay, <laughs> Second say. point, second point, is we have to know, we have to ask ourselves, is the truth? You're making what is called a postmodern argument. Postmodernism is truth is what you feel, what you think. That's postmodernism. Modernism, which was from 1900 to the 1960s, believes that truth, there is evidence for truth. Postmodernism, after the 60s, says there is no truth. And that's what your camp is in. You're in the postmodernist camp. Yeah? I'm in the modernist camp. I believe that there is certain truths. For example, in Islam, it says Jesus did not die on the cross. Yeah? Now, Muhammad came 600 years after Jesus, right? Without using my Bible, Josephus, a Jewish historian, right about 90 AD, and uh, a Tacitus, a Roman historian, 90 AD, said that he did die on the cross. That's why Dominic Crossan, a skeptic, said that Jesus dying on the cross is one of the most well-attested facts in ancient history. Now, here's the point. The Quran says no. I'm not knocking the Quran. I'm just showing about philosophy. The Quran says he did not die on the cross. He came 600 years after Jesus. Yeah. I've shown you without my Bible, Josephus and Tacitus say that he did. Now, one has the evidence, one does not. You know what I'm So you can look at a worldview and look at the evidence. Second point is you look at a worldview and presuppositions. Everybody has ideas that they cannot be An atheist, an agnostic, a Muslim, a Jew, a Buddhist. We all have ideas that we cannot prove. For example, nobody can ultimately prove what was at the beginning ultimately.